G'day, I'm Mark Latham, just to give you an update on vaccine passports. Uh, these are coming in, in New South Wales. It's hard to believe, but if you want to catch the train, catch a bus, uh, enter a government building, just have a coffee at your local cafe, you'll need to show your ID papers. And uh, this is way out of proportion with what's happened in the past. I mean, New South Wales has over 4,000 pedophiles on the Child Protection Register. They don't have to show their papers, they don't have to show ID, they don't have to show anything to go in any of the places I've just mentioned. But if you haven't got um, uh, your vaccination, you won't be allowed in. And uh, if you do have the vaccination, you're going to have the equivalent of an ID card. Uh, to show to all the authorities and government to record this, all the privacy concerns about it. In fact, let me just quote what the Australian Human Rights Commission has said. Vaccine passports operate as a de facto digital ID card because the person's identity must be verified against the proof of vaccination. Now, in the 1980s, Australia had the proposal by the Hawke government for the Australia card, an ID card for every person, and it was rejected by left and right. It was thrown right out. Now this uh, vaccine passport ID card is being waved through with all the privacy concerns. Who wants Google and Apple to have your uh, private information? Service New South Wales, where they're hoping to run the vaccine passport in our state, has massive leaks of information, hacks and private information flying everywhere. When it gets in the commercial sector, it's on sold for profit. Uh, the privacy concerns are enormous. And the practicalities, of course, are, are, are dreadful. We've seen the pictures out of France, the police marching through cafes to check on people's papers. Well, people do have rights, and there are ways of resisting this. And what I'm recommending to everyone is please do what I've done today. Go to the Australian Immunisation Register. Get this form. It's called Ceasing Correspondence and Release of Information. Fill it out. It'll only take you about a minute. It's only two uh, short pages there. And if you fill it out and lodge it with the federal government, you've got the right, the legal right under the laws of the Commonwealth not to have any third party access your vaccination status, not even your doctor. So what I'm planning to do, if there's a police officer asking me for papers at a cafe, is to say, well, no, I have a legal right under the Commonwealth law, which overrides New South Wales law, not to have to show anyone my vaccination status. It's private health sensitive information that doesn't have to be shared. So there's one thing everyone needs to do, fill out the form and understand that um, vaccine passports are a massive invasion of your privacy. Uh, it's the possibility of uh, government knowing as you have to log in at all these different places, where you've been, what you're doing, who you're seeing. Uh, this shouldn't happen in a free society. And most of all, we shouldn't create a two-tier society in Australia where there's one class of citizens who've got certain rights, the other class of citizens uh, are left out. People have been through enough. Society's been hammered hard enough over the last 18 months. We don't need more division, nastiness, these sorts of big brother tactics. We need to bring people together. They say, we're all in it together. Well, that means we should be one group of Australians, one class of Australians, and reject these vaccine passports out of hand. Thanks for listening.